Hi, Hi YouTube, YouTube family. family. My name is Alicia English. And I'm Philip English. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have to put three more tops on the rest of the raised garden bed. We're gonna fill these beds today and also get our veggies in the garden. Let's go. On the to-do list today is to get the top ledge on the other three boxes. We have the one on the far side completed over there. So we need to get these three all finished up here. And then we need to put them in the layout that we want them in the yard. And then if you saw yesterday's video, you'll see we have a gigantic pile of soil in the driveway and we need to get filling these boxes. We put some two by two braces in the corners to give it some extra support. That way, when we move the boxes where we want them in the location, they'll be in the yard. They'll be a lot sturdier. And I think this will help keep them together for many more years to come. So since we've done it on this completed box, we now need to do it to these other three. So Philip is working away, getting these two by twos in place before we start doing our miter tops, which I think look amazing and give these a really finished polished look. We've decided to stagger the screws from one side to the other of the two by two. That way we know we have a screw going on both sides of the post and both sides of the slats along the boxes. <laughs> what we need to do now is go all around the perimeter of our raised beds along the top ledge that we've done and put a line of screws all the way around for extra durability because right now, just while we were measuring our mitered corners, we just have a screw in each corner on both ends. So we really wanna make sure that these are gonna last us forever. So we're going to put in a whole bunch of screws. Did you forget to charge it? No, it just came off the charger. <laughs> it's dead. We got a little bit in there. <laughs> Oh, we've had these drills for a long time and we keep charging the battery even overnight and then we can maybe go about four or six screws and then it dies again and we have to put it back on the charger. This is not going to work so frustrating. to get these done and to do our next big build. If we're you wait a second, it gives you a little bit more power. <laughs> that is not productive. <laughs> Good like a little bit. You need a new drill set. Oh my god! Goodbye to Walt! <laughs> Hello Makita! Honey! This should help with the new build coming up. 18 volt power. Thanks baby. You're welcome. Love it. We're definitely gonna need a couple new drills for our big build coming up. We can't be recharging batteries every two seconds. So this one comes with extra batteries and there's two drills Honey, so we can... this is amazing! Oh, you even got a bag. A dope bag. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. It's adorable. Adorable. <laughs> Only Phil calls his tools adorable. Oh, wow. Amazing. It feels so good. First one done. Second one done. Three done. Number four. We have all four of our beds built and now what we're going to do is we've kind of got them in the layout that we want keeping in mind that our big project is going to be in that back corner and so what we want to do is make sure that these are completely level before we start putting in our landscaping fabric along the bottoms with our pneumatic stapler and then we'll be able to start putting our shovel-in shoes on and getting these babies filled up.
Phillip's using some wood shims and little blocks to be able to level all of the raised beds. That way we can put the fabric lining in them, staple it on, and then start filling with soil. We're going to be putting some of the soil around the perimeter of the beds along the bottom, which will hide some of these shims and make sure that these all look level in the yard. Because the last thing we want is water to be able to pool on either one end or the other of the beds. We want the even water to distribute across the duration of all of the veggies that we're putting in there. So I think this is the perfect solution. And so we have these two here currently being leveled. Phil's working on those. And then these two are already level. So you can really see a huge difference. And then you can see we've done some soil around the perimeter just to make sure that the ground is a little more leveled out. As we've done here in the middle, we're still adding a little bit more soil and we're just starting to get some of the boxes filled. Now we have all of the raised beds all leveled and put into place in the backyard where we want them and we're ready to start filling them and adding the soil all around the perimeters to make sure that they're level with the yard, which is perfect. We have lots of soil in the driveway, so we're gonna get our shovel and shoes on and get making these permanently in place. We're putting the fabric on the inside of them, so we already have this one already starting to be filled. We have the fabric ready on this one. I'm just about to staple it and then I'll be adding the fabric to the back two beds back there. One bed, almost full. How many shovels and wheelbarrows do you think filled one? 200, maybe. Probably 200 wheelbarrows. Yeah. So we've been out here yesterday for over 12 hours and today for over 12 hours building, assembling, and getting these all leveled and in. And we don't even have one completely filled yet. This one's pretty good. Almost I full. you don't want to fill them right to the top. We are going to be adding a little bit of our own pre-mixed soil and compost and compost stuff. Compost and maybe some worms. And definitely some worms. This was a super big project. Really easy to build. Just taking the time to actually get them full and level was really the biggest part of the work. Aside from actually putting them together, putting them together was so easy. It only took us maybe three hours, probably, to build all of the boxes. Yeah and doing all the pre-cuts and then drilling it all together all at the same time, you know, making piles of four because we were making four made things a lot smoother for the build. It was really, really awesome to do. I'm so excited that we did this. So we are actually going to get a few plants in this first box here because I have some peppers I need to get in the ground right away, some starters, and then we're going to spend tomorrow filling the other three boxes and also getting a rototiller so we can get the other parts of the yard over here all level and ready and prepped for our big build that we have coming later on this week because Thursday the supplies are showing up for our big build. I can't wait. We're gonna have to build some steps so Gunner and Nova can smell the garden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of them eating my delicious peppers before me. <laughs> Last year, when he was just a pup, he would walk by and grab whole peppers out of the garden like and run with them. Peppers. <laughs> full, and full if size. Saw, yeah, if he saw me picking in the garden, he would just go wild and then start just munching on everything. He loves all the smells. He's a basset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a hound. This part is the most fun because now that we're done, at least one of the boxes and it's totally filled, means that I get the privilege of putting in the first plants that are gonna go in this garden. And so we're going to put some peppers in this area and then tomatoes in the one behind us. And then we have a whole bunch of other fruits and veggies we're gonna grow throughout. But I wanna get these peppers in the ground. I don't want them in these little starter kits any longer. So I'm going to plant them now. So this one's just a sweet pepper. We have about 12 different varieties of peppers to plant. And I'm just gonna use the tags that they come with for right now just so I don't forget where I put everything by tomorrow. And then we're gonna make our own little custom tags with the kids, which I think will be super cute that they're gonna hand paint and make, you know, do the writing on all of their own little tags, so. 
There's a whole bunch of little baby buds on it. Aww. I love. Love. Sweet heat. Sweet heat. Usually your starters don't have little veggies what? already. These were definitely wanting to get into the soil. We bought some of these a couple of weeks ago, thinking that we were maybe not going to do our beds this year. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to do them or have the time. And so I'm really glad that we're gonna be able to get these in. A recyclable pot that could decompose, but then they wrapped it in plastic. How does that make any sense? <laughs> it makes no sense. Oh. It's kind of sad, really. Come on, companies, get with it. Save the planet. Where's my... Is this than crawling around on the ground gardening. Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> loving it right now. I think we'll still add a little bit of soil and be adding in a little bit more fertilized compost over the next couple of weeks while our starters get going. But we really have to get the other three beds filled up so we can get the rest of our starters and the rest of our seeds in the ground to start this year's growing season. We are planting about two weeks later than we normally do. And that's just because the weather was really crazy the last couple of weeks and we had snow, hail, really crazy high winds and thunderstorms and just not optimal growing weather to be able to get our stuff in the ground. And then of course we also wanted to make sure we get all the materials to do this big build. So for about five years we've wanted to get these build uh, boxes built and it was finally that we got to build our dream raised bed. So I don't know if you can tell but I'm smiling ear to ear and this has been just an amazing project. It was super easy. It was really on budget. We were able to get our project materials really at a really good price from going to home hardware. I'm so excited. I think they really add so much to our backyard. I know the kids are going to love using the raised beds. I know the dogs are going to love smelling all of the amazing things and I know we are certainly going to enjoy eating the fruits of our labor. We got all cleaned up, we're done our work for today. We have a bunch more work ahead of us to fill the rest of these beds and to get the space prepped for our big project that's starting on Thursday. We hope that you guys enjoyed this DIY project. It was super easy to do. It's something that everyone can do. Philip is over the moon. He's wanted to do these raised beds for about five years, so we're thrilled. We're gonna get the rest of our veggies and stuff in. You guys are gonna see an update on this over the next couple of weeks while things start producing in the garden. It's so exciting. This is a really exciting time for us because we we have so many big things ahead on our channel. So if you are not already part of our YouTube family, what, what are, are you, you waiting, waiting for? for? Hit the subscribe button and join our YouTube family. I wanted to let you go, guys know also that our brushes finally relaunched after we halted shipping due to world issues. And we also have our new custom hand scroll saw mini cutouts, I love yous, that you can purchase on the Etsy shop. So I'll put the, all the information for our merch launches, either handmade or apparel, in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching. We love having you guys a part of our journey. We love you and we will see you on tomorrow's video. Love you. Merch drop. Today is a very exciting day over here at the English residence. We have some amazing things happening today. What day is it? Really, hon? What day is it? It's merch drop day. <laughs> it is merch drop day. What an exciting day. I can't wait. The designs look amazing. The website looks amazing. If you've been waiting like us for this launch, then you're just as excited as us. You can get the What Day Is It t-shirts. There's tons of different designs. Make sure you go over and check it out.